Yeah, it's been really exciting to see all the things that's happened over the years. Uh, and it just seems to keep building. So. Mm -hmm. That may be an understatement. From Hobby Lobby's humble beginnings in an Oklahoma City living room back in the early 70s, founder and CEO David Green now oversees close to 20,000 employees and 457 stores in 39 states. He's number 136 on Forbes' list of the 400 richest Americans with a net worth of just over two and a half billion dollars. The journey to that amount was draining at times, involving battles with pride and debt. A humble and grateful Green emerged from the trials, giving all the credit to God. God has just blown us off the map, and we know that we give God the glory. Only a portion of the West Coast and New England are without the arts and crafts chain. However, Green says Hobby Lobby stores are on the way, with one expected to open in California in January, followed by stores in Connecticut, Rhode Island, and New Hampshire. There's so many decisions that we have to make that we just can't make without God, the Holy Spirit, guiding us. And it has been very important for us and our family to lean on the Holy Spirit. For him, it was always a ministry. You know, he, he couldn't be a preacher, and Grandma wanted six preachers, and he wished he could have been a preacher, but that wasn't his calling, and so he had to go where his gifting was, and he just, he loved the retail business. Green built his business on biblical principles. We've always tithed. That's something that we've always have been taught, but we've also been taught that that's not giving. Giving is but above what we owe God, and that is our tithes. More profits mean more funds to give away. David Green and his family have given millions to Christian causes and education. Their generous donations have benefited Liberty University in Virginia, rescued Oral Roberts University in Oklahoma, and will enable C.S. Lewis College to open in Massachusetts. Green's latest charitable endeavor involves purchasing Christian artifacts and ancient Bibles for a national Bible museum. However, Green hasn't forgotten those who help keep Hobby Lobby stores running and the customers happy. This year, the company raised the minimum wage for full-time employees to $11 per hour. 52% above the federal minimum wage. Green says it's a way to reward employees for the company's success. Another way that Green takes care of his employees is by limiting the number of hours that the store stays open in the evenings. For example, as you can see here, Monday through Saturday, it's open until only 8 p.m. Hobby Lobby is also closed on Sundays to allow time for family and worship. It was, it kind of frightened us when we knew God was, was speaking to us about closing on Sunday because it is per hour the busiest day of the week, but we knew God wanted us to close. And so the Green says there are no other companies the size of Hobby Lobby that are open only 66 hours a week. We Yet even in these tough economic times, Green's business is flourishing. He says same store sales rose 6% last year and the company's overall revenue was up 10%. Well, our businesses have done really well, even in these hard times. Last year, we had a nice increase even in our same stores. This year, we're above that. So I know God is uh, in this, and He is blessing us. And I think, though, just as important as our giving is, is our hearts, and, and that we do have uh, clean hands and a pure heart in, in our work. And this is what God would require of us. Green and his family are not just financial givers. They strive to help meet the spiritual needs of their employees as well. Three Hobby Lobby chaplains minister to workers. Green says hundreds of employees have given their hearts to Jesus Christ, including more than a dozen managers this year alone. We prayed a prayer with them, and we did have 15 of our managers come to know Christ in the business place. Sharing the gospel, Green says, is the driving force behind his quest for success in the marketplace. In fact, that's how he wants to be remembered. I would like to know that we have brought as many people to know Christ as we possibly can. We hope to continue to just grow our company. Uh, you know, as long as there's someone on this earth that doesn't know Jesus Christ, we have a job to do. Mark Martin, CBN News, Tulsa, Oklahoma.